Hi, and welcome to another fantastic training session with Learning to Lean. Let's get started. Today, we will be covering Chapter 2 from the Certified Six Sigma Yellow Belt Handbook, Lean Foundations and Principles. In today's session, you will learn the purpose of lean, lean methodologies, and the value of lean to organizations. What is lean? Lean is about the elimination of waste in a process. Waste is something that requires resources but adds no value. Lean is about producing what is needed, when it's needed, with the least amount of waste. What is a value stream? A value stream is the set of all steps in all processes from the start of your value creation process all the way through the delivery of the end result to your customer. Think of your supply chain processes or the HR process for annual benefits enrollment. Now, let's look at how to combine tools and methodologies to become organized, informed, efficient, and productive to work smarter, not harder. The first concept we will cover is 5S. I like to think of this concept as a place for everything and everything in its place. It's an organizational tool that can help you get organized and efficient. Once you've determined the work area or location in which you want to organize, the first step in the process of 5S is sort. I like to think of this as making a pile of things that you want to keep and making a pile of things that you want to toss or things that you will no longer need or use. Now that you have an understanding of the items you want to keep, determine where you're going to place them. Keep in mind, you want to determine the most efficient place to put these items so they are easily within reach or in the areas where you're going to use them on a routine basis. The next step in 5S is shine. Clean your work area. No one wants to start out a new process with a dusty, dirty area. Now we standardize. This means creating a system to help your items stay organized. Sometimes we can use small bins, colored labels, or even floor tape as a reminder to us where the items should be placed. And the last step in 5S is sustain. This is the most challenging part, making sure you follow your system for organization consistently. No cheating or thinking you will put something back in its proper location later. According to ASQ, a visual factory provides visual indicators of the status of materials and information throughout the value stream. This can be done through the use of electronic or manual production boards, color coding different stations, or even using lights or sounds to identify when and where there is an issue. The next tool is Kaizen. Kaizen is a Japanese term that means change for improvement or good change. I love this concept. It is so powerful to see an organization improve their processes through small incremental changes. Kaikaku means breakthrough improvement. This includes the concept of a Kaizen event or blitz when a cross-functional group of people come together to solve a problem. Now let's look at the concept of pull systems and push systems. A pull system allows us to manage scheduling and material flow. It eliminates overproduction and excess inventory. The pull system is driven by customer demand. It incorporates process metrics to determine timing and quantities. I like to think of a pull system as an elevator. It only operates when the button is pushed or in other words, the customer has demand. With a push system, products are stocked in inventory. Material is pushed through various stages of completion. Companies will make all they can just in case. 
and the push system is based on a forecast, not customer demand. I think of a push system as an escalator. It's running all of the time, regardless of whether or not there is customer demand or people actually riding the escalator. Just-in-time is an inventory strategy that provides for the delivery of material or product at the exact time and place it will be used. This is something that is widely practiced across automotive industry, even having some of the suppliers located inside or close to the factories for a seamless supply chain experience. Kanban, at its heart, is a signal. It is a paper or electronic notification of the status of something or an indicator that action needs to be taken. On the manufacturing line, you may see Kanban cards that indicate when more material is required. These cards are collected by a person with the title Water Spider, whose job is to collect the cards and take action, usually refilling parts or products. You can also use a Kanban system like the one pictured. This system can just be on a whiteboard or by using post-it notes. It helps to regulate the flow of work and provides a great visual of where different tasks are in the process. The concept of pokey oak or mistake proofing is to create a robust process in which you eliminate the possibility of mistakes or errors. I think of it as preventing people from trying to put a square peg in a round hole. You see examples of this every day. Your microwave may continuously beep because you left something inside of it. Your car won't start without a key in the ignition or inside the vehicle. And most cars won't go into drive or reverse unless your foot is on the brake, preventing you from accidentally moving the vehicle. Standard work is the most powerful lean tool in the world. Standard work documents how to perform work and is a baseline for improvement. It promotes problem solving, ensures consistency, supports audits, expedites training, reduces variation, and involves the team to develop a pokey oak. What is value? Value is defined by the customer, no matter how silly an item or task may seem to us. The value the customer places on an item is based on their perception of its usefulness and how necessary the given product or service is to them. Who defines value? Well, it's the customer. Now let's look at different types of value. A value added activity is done right the first time. It changes or transforms the product and the customer recognizes the value or it's willing to pay for it. Business non-value add are activities that are required by the business to execute value added work but adds no real value for the customer. And non-value added activities utilize resources, but adds no value. In other words, the customer is unwilling to pay for it. Now let's talk about the eight wastes. We use the acronym downtime to remember the eight wastes. It is important to know all the wastes to be able to recognize them and eliminate them. If a process doesn't add value, then it's waste. The eight wastes are defects, overproduction, waiting, non-utilized resources, transportation, inventory, motion, and excess processing. Let's look at each type of waste. The first waste is defects. Defects are not making products or services according to the customer's stated needs or specifications. Next is overproduction. Overproduction is producing more than is actually required. Waiting is the next waste. Waiting for parts, information, completion of the previous step in a process. 
Waiting is also known as idle time. Now we move on to non-utilized talent. This is not using the skills and talents of your team members to their full capacity. It's also known as lost creativity. Transportation is the next waste. Transportation of materials, products, and also information. Every time an item is transported, it adds to the cost of the final product. Inventory. Having too much material on hand than is actually required to meet the customer demand. This can also be buying a software package and only using one piece of that bundle. The next waste is motion. It's bending, stretching, reaching, grabbing because the workstation is not arranged in a manner that best suits the team member. And finally, excess processing is our last waste. Doing more than is actually required. For example, asking for an Excel spreadsheet of data only, but receiving charts, graphs, printouts, etc. By optimizing the value added activities and eliminating waste, your organization can aim towards achieving perfection in lean. This isn't a one-time effort, this is a continual learning process. Thanks for joining me in today's session. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know about videos as they are released. You can also find us online at www.learningtolean.training. Thanks and have a great day.